What's the word, y'all? Keeping it real gangsta. Y'all gotta start to understand the real difference between the types of criticism in this world. Most people that never level up have an aversion. They have a deep aversion and have a deep fucking fear of criticism. You feel me? And that's their motherfucking issue because you need to realize that not all criticism is built the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really want to get specific about it, you got haters in this world. I know I got haters in this world, and most of these motherfuckers won't even say a thing. Why? Because they know, low-key, it's not even that they hate me. They just hate the fact that you reflecting whatever it is that they're not accepting. Ooh, bars, shiki, get them. Listen, criticism, two types. There's constructive criticism and destructive criticism, right? You got to understand that the most people, the people who evolve the most are super self-critical, meaning that they have a aptitude for self-analysis where they like, yo, listen, bro, that's not cool. If we want to win, right, self-talk, if we want to win, we got to start doing things a little different. That's not wavy. We can't keep doing this. But the people who can't even have a certain level of healthy self-criticism to be like, you know what? I need to be better, they're never going to level up because they're walking around in a blind bubblegum delusion of a reality thinking that what they are doing is somehow the right thing even though their life is riddled with shit, like their life is fucked up, your life is fucked up, right? And you think that your shit really working and that's why you deluded like a motherfucker, get fucking honest, stop walking around lying to yourself and being able, start to be able to give yourself a healthy level of self-criticism. I don't believe that people shouldn't judge themselves like that's where the accountability has to be real to your higher self like be fucking honest don't have that aversion to criticism right so there's two types of criticism there's constructive criticism and there's destructive criticism destructive criticism is the criticism that the haters is gonna give you feel me like niggas that be talking people that be talking i'm keeping this shit real bro like people that be talking to you trying to tell you about you when they shit not even clicking when their lives are not even in order where they don't even have desirable attributes you feel me they not in positions to even give advice but they trying to tell you to stop doing things or trying to tell you to do certain things or act a certain way right criticizing you when they're not even trying to build you up. See, that's the distinction. It's either it's trying to build you up or break you down. Constructive versus destructive, right? So it's not about the criticism. Most people have an aversion to criticism as a whole. And I advise that you stop doing that shit because you're blocking yourself from growing in the ways you know you need to. You feel me? But constructive criticism is criticism that's pointed out with wisdom an insight with the intent of building you up to the next level. It's like, hold on, you're fucking up right here. That's love, right? Because we ain't trying to lie to you. So what we're going to do is see that, okay, let's see what we can do better here. Constructive criticism. Now we're going to provide a solution. And after that, you can implement this solution and become better and make your life more whole, right, at the end of the day. But the destructive criticism is going to come from the haters, you feel me? That's what a hater is, a person who provides destructive criticism. They give you criticism with nothing on the opposite end. It's no way like I right, so you criticizing me but like okay like how is that helping are you trying to help me or are you trying to hurt me exactly are you trying to heal me or are you trying to hurt me exactly so when you see the energy that I emit a lot of people got it twisted because innately they just don't have an affinity they don't like being criticized they don't even criticize themselves when they fuck up they have no accountability between themselves they have no rules they have no morals they have no principles they're unguided by any type of standards right now we're talking about standards you see what I'm saying so you need to start to understand when a person like myself has a certain level of love for you they're not gonna lie to you you feel me and they're gonna wanna see you do better so don't have an aversion to what people have to say to you. Be a listener. Start to take it in and be like, okay, this person is really trying to help me. It might sound like he's cursing me out. It might sound like he's being a little rash, but he's really trying to help me be a better version of myself. And I know that deep down, if I did follow the steps that he's providing or listen to myself like he's telling me to do and pursue myself and build myself, I will have a better life. So at the end of the day, he's right. Otherwise, it's a hater that's like, oh, you're arrogant, oh, you're egotistical, like, you're a narcissist, like, I get all types of shit, right? But you need to realize, right, I'm gonna I'm use this platform right now to say it, 
my whole brand is your world is yours. It's not my world is mine, my world is mine, look at me, look at me, I'm the greatest, look at me, appraise me. I don't seek self-aggrandizement. I don't give a fuck about that shit, motherfucker. Like, I'm great by myself. I was ready to be in the woods, not on no hippy-dippy shit, but in real solitude, just getting closer to the source, you feel me? I was good doing that. But I realized that's selfish as fuck, and I need to be able to provide the solutions that are actually working for me, that are making my life more spiritually, physically, holistically, all together, integrated, and on a whole different level and plane of consciousness. I need to provide people with the ways that I'm evolving, because if I just hide that from the world, there are people who were like myself who need this, right? So that's how you become a leader. So it's a difference between somebody being such and such or somebody being the other such and such, which is constructive versus destructive criticism. Haters is going to try to throw criticisms at you that are empty and they don't have no fucking merit at all. And then if you look at their lives, it's like, motherfucker, like, you got boobs, you got titties, you're not even listening to yourself, you're not even pursuing your passions, you don't have no self-esteem, you don't got the confidence, you just wake up and go and work for somebody else for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no, that's not a life. That's not life. You feel me? You don't even acknowledge your own infirmities. You don't even look at yourself in the right light. Like, you over here spending time criticizing me destructively. You feel me? When, really, you should be focusing on constructively criticizing yourself. Because if we now side-by-side -side analysis the situation, at least one motherfucker is really trying to do really good things in the world. What the fuck are you doing besides passively consuming and formulating opinions about people that are actually doing things in the world? See, that's that entitlement and that's that arrogance. You feel me? The thin line between arrogance and confidence is entitlement. I'm going to put that out there real quick too. You feel me? You arrogant motherfuckers really don't even think that y'all should be better. Y'all think the world should be fucking accommodating your shit. No, you get better. You make yourself better. We're over here evolving. We're over here improving people's lives. What the fuck are you doing? You feel me? Get your shit together. Yeah, hi, hater. Shiki shiki, whatever you why your world is yours. You need to understand, one, not to have an aversion to criticism. Criticism isn't always a bad thing. Two, there's two types of criticism. There's constructive and destructive criticism. Constructive criticism is going to come from somebody who sees that you can improve in a certain area and has your best interest at heart and who's trying to help and heal and see you thrive. Destructive criticism comes from haters who are trying to see you not thrive, who are trying to chip away at what you're doing and try to get you to stop. You feel me? Based on what? Like, what the fuck? Like, what do you expect? You want me to go back to smoking cigarettes in the motherfucking Lucy spot with Hennessy in my coffee cup, drinking Heinekens, going out, you know what I'm saying? Like, tripping, despondent, shirking my work, all types. That's what you want me to do? You want me to go back to selling weed? You want me to go? That's, that's what I should spend my life doing? That's the best application of myself? What do you, I should just stop talking? Why? Because you feel uncomfortable? Why? Because it's a reflection of your own inadequacies? Exactly. Get the fuck out of here. My mentor once told me, a mentor, listen, two types of people you're going to have on this path. People that you inspire and people that you make insecure. And the people who provide you with negative criticism, destructive criticism, are obviously made insecure because you're a reflection of what they're not doing and their inadequacies, and it's full shine, you feel me? But the people who provide you constructive criticism are the people who are looking to continue along the inspirational path. Straight up, whatever you why your world is yours. Evolution, only solution. I keep telling y'all this shit, and it's all mindset. You have to build yourself. Stop waiting for life to get better and make yourself better. It's the most arrogant thing in the world to wait for life to get better. Oh, life should get better. Bitch, life was here 13.8 billion years before you. What the fuck? You the new one on the scene. You better learn the rules of the game, apply yourself in the right way, and thrive because the universe really wants you to win, and you gotta realize, aren't you in your own way? Aren't you the one that's in your own way? Exactly. Listen to yourself. Why do you why your world is yours? Right what I'm saying? Get your level up, swag the fuck up, and live the best possible potential life. Top form all day. This is how we rocking. I love y'all. Sign up. I'm telling y'all. Mindset. Pick this. You get to ask this. You get to use this. This? What? Hey, man. Wisdom. Shiki.